Buenos dias, this is Scott Oliver with CostaRicaHospital.com here today in Hospital Metropolitana with Dr. Felipe Herrera. Dr. Felipe, thank you very much indeed for spending the time with us today. You're very welcome. As I understand it, this hospital is very much a family business because your father's involved, your, your uncle's involved. How, how did that uh, happen? Uh, well, basically the whole idea started about a year or a little bit over a year ago. Uh, we wanted to focus on middle class people and basically having low cost surgeries and, and try to help uh, reduce the cost for patients. So it started out as a family business and we kind of outgrew ourselves in less than a year. Uh, we've had uh, help from uh, big investors uh, recently which has helped us, helped us uh, grow a lot and basically improve in our, in our system. Yeah. But having said that, although the hospital is a new one, the pedigree of the family behind the hospital is, is certainly a very experienced one because if I understand rightly, your father used to be the medical director at Hospital SEMA, didn't he? Yes, yes. He has a lot of experience uh, with the administrative part of hospitals or big hospitals. Uh, plus, we also have, he also had the, the chance to do his residency program in the U.S. So he's uh, used to kind of working with... Uh, patients not just from this country but uh, I mean other countries more uh, like the USA for example. Excellent and give us a, a sort of summary of where the hospital is located here and what your focus is what sort of surgeries you're involved with. Yeah okay basically um, the hospital is located in the hospital district that's what it's called here in downtown San Jose. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in very close proximity to San Juan de Dios which is a big public hospital children's hospital and the geriatric hospital as well. Um, basically what we try to do in uh, the surgical part of the, of the hospital is focus on procedures such as uh, plastic surgery, uh, general surgery, for, for example, cholecystectomies or laparosco laparoscopic cholecystectomies. Uh, a lot of general surgery and cosmetic surgery as well. But we do a lot of orthopedic surgery, reconstructive surgery as well. So it's basically a lot of uh, different uh, options that you can have here. Uh, and we try to focus on procedures which are from medium to low complexity. Okay, so I mean, when it comes to something incredibly serious where intensive care is needed, that, that's somewhere else. Yes, everything that's out of our hands, we try to stabilize it and basically we don't want to put the patient's life at risk mm -hmm. so if it's out of our hands we stabilize the patient and we send it to a more uh, uh like a, a hospital which has a, the proper intensive care unit or or the the human staff that can can take care of that good. Uh, issue good and in in the brochures that i'm seeing you do uh, with orthopedics a lot of knee surgeries uh, hip replacements and hip surgeries and there's a number of other special clinics you have here what, what, what yeah. are they uh, well, we work hand in hand with uh, orthopedic surgeons. Mm -hmm. uh, anything from knee replacements to hip replacements, uh, fractures, we do a lot of that ki uh, kind of surgeries as well. Um, plastic surgery, as I was mentioning before, uh, we have a lot of uh, different outpatient clinics uh, for diabetes, for osteoporosis, metabolism clinics, uh, weight control clinics. Uh, which work, in, work with uh, different specialists and involve general physicians as well. Uh, as I was telling you, we have the ability to, to have a patient right here in our office and have their lab test in in less than 30 minutes, have their x-ray done, uh, their ultrasound done, all in the same building. So it's uh, a lot faster for the patient. It's uh, a lot better for the doctor is taking care of the patient because we get a lot of results in before the consult is over. Excellent. Okay. And if there was something unique that Hospital Metropolitana offers rather than the other hospitals that are here in the San Jose uh, area, what would you say that would be? Um, basically, well, you, you can notice that as soon as you walk in through the doors that it's still a very type of family business uh, thing. So uh, people will take care of you here, uh, like they won't take care of you in any other hospital. It's a very personal relationship between the patient, the doctor, and everyone who gets involved in the process of taking care of that patient. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, well, we try to focus on the human part of medicine. That's, that's our main goal. Uh, uh, reducing the risks for the patients, uh, making them feel kind of at home, because we know 
that a patient comes into the hospital and as soon as he walks in through the door, their blood pressure goes uh, up to the roof. Mm -hmm. uh, they start uh, feeling nauseous. They have a headache. I mean, we, what we try to do is reduce that anxiety, reduce um, those, those types of things that uh, patients feel when they walk into a hospital and not knowing what their lab tests are going to be. Uh, what the result of their ultrasound is going to be. So uh, we try to basically have a warm um, uh, kind of a, uh, atmosphere for them here. Good, excellent. Now, one of the other doctors we spoke to here in the hospital was talking about uh, uh, one of the differences being that, you know, we don't have fancy fountains in the, in the lobby of the, of the uh, hospital Metropolitana because they focus on the patients, they focus on uh, quality doctors, and they focus on all the best state-of-the-art equipment, which we've certainly seen and you'll see some in this video. And that is important. Um, but having said that, if you haven't bought the fountains, what sort of savings could a patient expect to see here compared to SEMA, Biblica, or Catholic? I mean, is there a, a rough general guideline? Yeah, well, um, basically, as you were mentioning, Scott, it's, uh, as I was telling you, we, we don't have a fountain in the, the lobby. We don't have a, a very fancy hotel-like atmosphere. Uh, so what we try to do is focus all of that into the human staff and into the machines we use here. Uh, the stress test is the latest machine you can find in the country. We have the GI department with the latest equipment. Uh, the OR with the latest uh, towers and lights and everything. So basically what we try to do is focus our finances towards the good of the patient and try not to, to charge them for a fancy uh, floor in the entrance or, or a fountain. So basically mm -hmm. what we try to focus is on, on just the general equipment of the hospital that's the best for the patient and, and the human staff as I was mentioning before, right? Excellent. One of the big complaints that we hear on a regular basis about hospitals in Costa Rica is when a patient is inquiring with Nurse Mary or somebody else with regards to a particular price for a particular procedure, is they're given a price, but unfortunately a lot of the time that price is very different than what the patient ends up paying. There could be a significant increase. Uh, I'd like to ask you, Dr. Felipe, how is your hospital any different from that? I mean, when somebody asks, okay, well, you know, if I'm gonna get a hip replacement or whatever, how, how can you say with confidence that that's the price that the patient uh, is going to pay? Okay, so basically when we quote the price for a patient, we have always a study that helps us uh, stand behind the price that we give that patient. Uh, I mean, we've done in the year, we've been open more than 500 surgeries. Uh, and that gives us a good idea of basically what exactly is the patient going to need during the surgery, how long it's going to take. So it's, I mean, it's not frequent, it's very unfrequent that a patient needs to get a surprise at the end mm -hmm. uh, when it's paying the bill. So uh, basically we talk with the patient before the surgery, we give them a price, we tell them, well, it can go over just a little bit or it can be under that just to be safe and just to be sure and just to make sure that the patient knows that that's the price he's getting and that's the price that he's going to pay at the end of the procedure, at the end of the consult, or uh, basically at the end of the treatment that he's going to get. So no big surprises? No big surprises, definitely no. not. No, no, no. All right, so if I understand rightly, Hospital Metropolitana obviously is in an established district in San Jose, the hospital district, yeah. which is a superbly convenient location for exactly. anybody that's coming to Costa Rica. Exactly. You're not investing money in superfluous items like fountains and expensive artwork, which some mm -hmm. people are doing, which is, is still beautiful. <laughs> You're focusing your monies, your investments on staff, on uh, equipment, proper state-of-the-art equipment. And if, again, if I understand correctly, a lot of the doctors that are doing surgeries here are in fact the same doctors that are doing surgeries in SEMA, Biblica, and Catholica anyway. Exactly. Okay, exactly. so I mean, all those doctors that your father knew at Hospital SEMA, he exactly. still knows and still sees now in the family's own hospital here. Exactly. In, Metropolitan. Yes, sir. Excellent. Well, I, I think that sums it up. Uh, we're very happy to be here in Hospital Metropolitana. <laughs> we're hoping to uh, send more business to Dr. Felipe and his associates here. And I'd like to thank you very much indeed for the time. Thank you, Scott. Today. You're welcome. Thank you.